Hello everybody, my name is Minecraft Days and welcome to another episode on the Plundercraft server. Behind me is my base and we are going to be doing some work on the base. So without further ado, let's get into this video. <laughs> Alright, are you guys ready? Because I don't think you are. I did a little bit of work, and by that I mean I added storage. The one thing I do not have is storage. And the one thing we need to do is move all of my stuff from Plunderville all into these chests. But um I think this is actually looking really good. I do like this design. Now the one thing I am the one thing we are gonna be doing certainly in this video is making a super smelter. I have never made one before, so I'm going to try and do it on my own, but uh, I do have a way to make an unloader, And uh, but before we do this, I'm going to hop onto a creative test world and we're going to make this. Alright everybody, so this is the design that we are going to be using for our super smelter. So this can be expandable, um, we can expand it as far as we want. And the unloader was made by Rogue Fox. Uh, he is, I, I believe, a YouTuber off of Truly Bedrock, I believe. I'm not fully certain. But um, he built this unloader, and uh, I just took his design and built it here. And then made it that it also activates this down here to pick up everything. How it works is we can grab some coal, and then we can grab, grab some stone. Put that in there. Just like that, we put it in, press the button, and off it goes. So that's going to pick up everything. Now, when those are done emptying, it's actually going to stop that. So this won't always pick up absolutely everything. And that could probably be fixed. I could probably just, you know what I will do? Uh, I'll do a button just in case if it's not fully all picked up. I will have a button right here that I can press it to go and activate it to make it go. But I think this will actually be very, very good to have on the server because I have never had a super smelter. So we're going to build this on the Plundercraft server. And it's going to take a lot of hoppers, but I have enough. I have enough furnaces. I'm not sure if I have enough rails. I'm going to have to count how many I used. I'm going to have to count absolutely everything I used here so I can remake it back on Plundercraft. So I'll see you then. All right, everyone. So I'm back on the Plundercraft server, but I do not fully know where I want to build this. We have the storage system here. I might... I don't know where I want to build this. Um, I think I'm going to build it over in this part of it because that's where I hang out the most. But then again, if I'm going to be working on my base, I kind of want some things smelting. So I'm not fully sure what I want, where I where I want to build this. But I do need a lot of materials, so this super smelter is going to be very very helpful. All right, I've just had the perfect idea. We're going to build it right about here. All right, and then we're going to build something uh to encase it. So we might build it about here. Um, I'm not fully sure how long it is, and I'm not fully sure what I'm going to build it out of. I'm probably going to build it out of cobblestone. Just depends on how much I have. So to get things started, we need to use the power rails. But I'm going to put it on not sand. I'm going to put it on cobblestone. But I first need to find a really good spot to put this. And I think I'm going to line it up right here with this. Yeah, I think five blocks farther should be good. And now we're going to head into a little bit of a time lapse. And I will build this, all right?
All right, everyone. So I think this is actually looking really, really good. Um, first I need to build one. More, I mean, ugh. I need to make one more minecart. Um, I need to get one, two, three, five chests, and then I think it's all done. Now this we can expand this if you want, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave it at this length. And I actually do like how it turned out. Now it's not just going to be this. I am actually going to be building a frame around this, and the frame is going to be very, very cool. But it's going to be very challenging at the same time. So I'm going to have to do a lot of work to try and figure it out. But right now, I think Pepe is coming over to my base to check it out, so that'll be cool. But right now, I'm going to go get those five chests, and um, if it works, I'm going to be very happy. So fuel goes in this one. I'm going to put nine stacks of coal in here. I'm going to label these two for you, so then you'll know. You ready? Three, two, one. Right. Whoa! Uh oh, one of them didn't fill up. Why is that? Oh, that's because it has a rail in it. And now it's gonna smelt that. And that's when those end up. When those end, they're gonna stop. And all I gotta do is press this button, and this one will keep going. Now I gotta re we we rewire this. <laughs> There, now I did it. Also, oh, now I understand. It's got a timer. No, it's not really a timer. So basically what it does, yeah, it's technically a timer. What it does is it detects that there's something in here. So it sends off a redstone pulse, and then, yeah, it does a little timer, and then it sends it back on its way. If there's still stuff in there, it goes to pick it up. All right, everyone, that was a very fun video. We built that all the way over in there, and I fixed it. I made it better. Um, and I really, really do love it. I think it's going to be very, very good. I already have nine stacks of, uh, smooth stone in there. So I think that's going to go a really long way. Well, anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you have not done so, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button to join Tim and Ferdy. Uh, hit the post notification button so you never miss another upload. Also, on Friday nights, I will be streaming every single friday i will let you know if i will not be able to stream on a friday but i would like to try to stream every single friday on a pl for on plundercraft i did it this friday which is the day i'm recording this video so i did it the, uh the friday that just happened before the sunday and uh only and about six of you six of you showed up so that was really nice uh, i really hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye The secret word to put in the comments to get a heart. We do these almost every week if you haven't seen them. I didn't do it in the other video though, but I am doing it in this one. The secret word to put in the comments is... Friday Stream Night. It's not, it's not just one word, it's the multiple words. See you guys next week.